Hi everyone. So as you can see, I zoomed in a little for all of us to see a little better. Um, and as you can see, I've um, cut down my paper. So I'm gonna just kind of place it like that. I have to keep aware here. Let's see. I think we'll stick on Saturday there. Um, I need one here. Oh, yeah, we have the gray too. There. This is what we want to do here. And maybe we'll have, oh goodness, maybe we'll move this one to the top up here and we'll put this one down here. Yeah, I think that looks good. Alright, so now we're gonna stick them down. I don't know how you guys are doing. I am doing a lot better as far as feeling better. Um, and I think everyone here is pretty close to feeling 100%. Um, so things are picking up again, which is good. We had a couple things kind of fall to the back burner last week, so um, and it was because of her because we were sick, but then we're gonna make up time now. <laughs> it won't be long. Uh, I got a lot of laundry done. We were able to spend some really good time together uh, this weekend. Anyway, uh, by, by the time I get this up, it's not going to be right away. Because um, I have to mail this to her. Um, and I don't want her... I know she watches my videos, so I don't want her to see um, the finished product before she... Um, she receives it so so yeah so I am actually planning it's Sunday it's the 22nd today um, and it's it's good I feel really good about being able to get this done um, it's funny because I one time <laughs> at some point down the road here I will show you my memory planner and as far as my memory planner, I have a lot of back planning, back planning to do, um, and I might do a series, so like a rewind series or something on it, because um, I think it would be really fun. I love watching plan with me's, even if they're not like relevant to the time, as far as the date and stuff. Sometimes it's nice to just have on the background or for me I get an inspiration just from watching someone else plan sometimes so anyway um, so yeah these uh, rectangles aren't that hard to cut out they're one and a half by two and a half if you want to cover everything you don't want a header or anything um, I think they're a little smaller obviously if you if you have the headers in between, and um, I I don't know I, if you're going to cover it up, <laughs> what is the point in my brain of getting anything less, like anything more detailed than this? Because um, I don't know, you're just paying extra for someone's work when you're just covering it all up. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me. So that is why. Um, and it's funny because she has been into planning, but I actually, this was a gift that I gave her for, um, I think it was Christmas or her birthday, maybe it was her birthday this year. And she's more current in her planner, my friend, the one that's going to get this, um, than I am as far as making sure she's on top of it. 
Granted, she has a little more time than I do to do such things. Um, but anyway, she, I think, will really like this. And she's, she likes white space, so I'm not going to cover it all in stickers. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of like that too. I mean, I, I like stickers like the rest of them. I do not buy the Etsy kits all the time. I will sometimes get the functionals, which is great. But, um, yeah, we'll just, I'll just say that. Anyway, so it's exciting because she's come a long way in her planning as well. So, anyway, have you seen, the, I was talking about the shape, the size of these. Have you seen the, um, I think I haven't seen it in stores of a listing online, but there is a Happy Planner Punch that you can get, so you don't have to cut these out yourself or measure them. You can just punch them out like that. But anyway, speaking of punch, uh, I've decided that I'm gonna punch this out for her so she has it because this is her. This is the one one of the things she said. I really need that on Wednesday. I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm gonna punch it out. I want to make sure it's. I know, centered or something here. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, and I'm not all the way to the edge. Yeah, I want to make sure it's a flag all the way here. Okay. Sorry, that bugged you. My goodness. I have never had that do that before. Anyway. Uh, so yeah. That being said, we had a great family weekend now that everyone's feeling better and recovered. Like I was saying before. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I've never had a punch do this. I don't want to break it. <laughs> wow. So weird. Alright, well, I don't want to wreck her. The sticker she gave me, so I think I'm going to have to have a plan B. That is so strange. I don't it's a Fiskars. These are usually phenomenal punches. I've never, and I've used this before. I just don't know why, why I did that. So it's really a bummer. Um, so, yeah, so I guess we'll try and fix this. It's quite a mess. Um, yeah. All right. So, as you can see, also next week is Halloween. So. We are pretty set as far as our costumes are concerned. I have a little bunny. I also have a little, I have a cheeseburger guy and he literally is a cheeseburger. It's so funny. Um, but he loves cheeseburgers. They're like his favorite food in the world. So it suits him. And then my other son is going as peanut butter and jelly, both of them. One side is peanut butter and one side is jelly. And I'm kind of excited. My husband is dressing up as well. He's going to be Waldo. Um, and they all may sound familiar. All these costumes may sound familiar to you. Because we did use them for our Comic Con that we had a few weeks ago. Um, and that was really fun. It was really interesting too. Because um, the one that got the most notice. Outside of me. I was Fluttershy. There was a few people that took pictures of me. Because I had these giant wings that were that were filled with air. <laughs> I can maybe show you a picture. Anyway, um, so, but besides me and my cute little bunny and what everyone wanted to eat, peanut butter and jelly and have cheeseburgers when they saw my other two, but my husband, up there, so many people would run up to him and be like, I found you, I found you. It was funny, so. Um, yeah. Anyway, also, we are going to go trick-or-treating in a neighborhood nearby. Excuse me. Um, and they have trick-or-treating in the whole neighborhood. Like, everyone dresses up, even the adults, and they go from house to house, and they are extravagant in their giving, and they give, they give adult candy, so I know that there's, like, some, they do, like, jello shots and whatever, but then, yeah, full-size candy bars for their the kids and all kinds of other things. I think they have a cotton candy guy and popcorn. It's almost like a carnival. It's pretty cool. So I'm excited to go do that. Oh, 
dear. This is hard now because I have a lot of orange that I'm going to use. So I definitely need to, excuse me, I'm an itch. Um, I definitely need to do that. And then there's black and white, obviously, and I need to cover up this green part because it doesn't quite go with it. So, um, I think I'm going to try and use these in between the layers here. So I will do that first since I know what I'm doing. So, yes, I don't know if you guys have any plans for Halloween. We do give out candy. It's one of my favorite things to see the little trick-or-treaters come and show their costumes and stuff. Um, and it's all good. It's all real fun. So, um, yes, that's what we're doing. I can't believe, can't believe it's almost here. Um, this year has gone by so fast for us. We had a lot going on. We didn't start the year off so well. Um, I think I'm going to have to put a sticker there that kind of might rip that a little too much, but... Anyway, we didn't start the year off too well because at the beginning of this year, um, we had a few injuries. I I was one of them, and my my son, my middle son, also was one. And it's just not good to start off with injuries, and there's more specifically, they were broken bones. So, and for me, mine took mine took almost half a year to get over, and it was painful and there's still a sometimes for me where I have to be really careful okay because that one ripped the last time I think I'm gonna use my little scissors and hope they cut straight enough here there anyway um yeah so I broke my tailbone in three different places and if you've never broken your tailbone or known anyone who has they obviously can't cast you <laughs> like it's a it's something so central to your body you cannot you're using it all the time and so it takes a long time to heal a long long time and like I said there's still some times where if I sit wrong I can feel it it's terrible um and I yes I I don't I, I think I took sitting for granted, I think, for a while. <laughs> and I definitely don't now, obviously. And then my middle son. Well, he's my second born. Anyway, he went ice skating for the very first time in his life. And he was nine. No, ten, sorry. And he was a natural. Like, phenomenal. He, he could practically run on the ice. He was so good at it. And he was so having such a good time was one of the best nights ever and then towards the end he took a spill and sure enough <laughs> we were in the ER that night and he had a buckle fracture which his was crushed like in several places but it was just in the wrist and now he's like I'm never going again but we'll see about that all right so I got this laid down and I am having uh, a good time. I think it's looking good so far, so uh, we're going to keep going. I will pause again. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to get this camera, or a different camera, so that I can just film for, I don't know how people do it. They do it for hours, and their cameras don't die or anything. Or they're really good at editing, which I'm not. <laughs> not there. Anyway, alright, we'll see you in a few minutes.